Well, hey guys, how you doing? Um, <laughs> I got a crazy message today. Well, actually last night I started to get it. I went to um, take my niece and my husband um, out to dinner last night and then all of a sudden I felt like a, a change in my spirit and my legs started shaking and then I felt like the Lord was trying to tell me something so I started writing things down. I hadn't finished that message um, so I think that might be a separate one but this morning I was laying there and I was praying and I was like, Lord, you know, I don't want to ever not say anything that you've given me or I'm sorry that let me repeat again. I prayed and I said, Lord, I don't want to say anything that you haven't given me. So um, I heard this thing where he said, be quiet, be still. And he started giving me all this, guys, and he gave me scriptures. And if you haven't seen my videos before, like I said, I don't know scriptures. And a lot of times when he gives me these messages, I'm either driving my car, which I'm in my car now. I was just about to go into Costco, but I felt the urgency to write down this message that I got this morning because I had to go to church, so I couldn't post it this morning. So I'm posting it now, but it's crazy. So make sure you guys listen to this, and it's so descriptive. And the scriptures he gives me, guys, I don't even have my Bible in front of me. And then I go and I look at the message and write all this down and I'm just blown away. Okay. Wake up, O sleeper. Darkness is coming. My chariots are hunting in the night. This is between good and evil. Do not go outside or you will die. Look at the sign of the sun darkening. There will be a halo around the moon. The evil has shifted. Stay inside. You will be protected by the blood on the doorposts. Death is here and he will be riding through the streets. Time is running out. Heed all my warnings. They shall come to pass. I am the Alpha and Omega. My earth is about to shake. Denver will feel it. Massachusetts will feel it. Colorado, prepare yourself. There will be more coming after this. Cyclones will break out in Washington, D.C., in Texas, and New Jersey, and New York. The coastal line will split. The magnitude will be so high, the coastal will crack open. The government is resting on my shoulders, but not for long. They will not move until I allow them to. I am writing to you so you may be saved. I speak to the rivers and they dry up. This is your season for repentance. Terror is at the door bow down repent and worship me i will destroy everything all your idols you do not know what is coming no man has seen i am opening the heavens the battle is starting tidal waves are coming and you will feel the aftermath on the east coast i am your lord god and i have spoken that's a lot to get right before church guys okay Joshua 114, your wives, children, and livestock may remain here in the land Moses assigned to you on the east side of the Jordan River, but your strong warriors, fully armed, must leave the other tribes across the Jordan River to help them conquer their territory, stay with them. Ezekiel 21, 5, everyone in the world will know that I am the Lord. My sword is in my hand and it will not return to its sheath until its work is finished. Colossians 2.11, when you come to Christ, you were circumcised, but not by a physical procedure. Christ performed a spiritual circumcision, the cutting away of your sinful nature. Revelation 14.11, the smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever, and they will have no relief day or night, for they have worshipped the beast and his statue, having accepted the mark of his name. Leviticus 3.8, lay your hand on its head and slaughter in front of the tabernacle. Aaron's sons will then splatter the sheep's blood against all sides of the altar. Then he gave me Jeremiah 110. Today I appoint you to stand up against nations and kingdoms. Some you must uproot and tear down, destroy and overthrow. Others you must build up and plant. Proverbs 318. Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Happy are those who hold her tightly. Proverbs 3.9. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Ezekiel 45.7. Now this is just blowing my mind, the scripture he gave me. Two special sections of land will be set apart for the prince. Our section will share a border with the east side of the sacred lands and city, and the second section will share a border on the west side. Then the far eastern and western boundaries of the tribal areas. 
Daniel 2, 9, he will protect his faithful ones, but the wicked will disappear in darkness. No one will succeed by strength alone. 1 Samuel 2, 10, those who fight against the Lord will be shattered. He thunders against them from heaven. The Lord judges throughout the earth. He gives power to his king. He increases the strength of his anointed one. Exodus 2, 9, take this baby and nurse him for me, the prince has told the baby's mother. I will pay you for your help. So the woman took her baby home and nursed him. Genesis 4, 15, the Lord replied, no, for I will give a sevenfold punishment to anyone who kills you. Then the Lord put a mark on Cain toward anyone who might try to kill him. Genesis 6, 13, so God said to Noah, I have decided to destroy all living creatures for they have filled the earth with violence. Yes, I will wipe them all out along with the earth. Deuteronomy 1, 11, and may the Lord, the God of your ancestors, multiply you a thousand times more and bless you as he promised. Revelation 9, 15, then the four angels who had been prepared for this hour and day and month and year were turned loose to kill one third of all the people on earth. Then Revelation 15, 4, who will not fear you, Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous deeds have been revealed. Chronicles 1, 4, and Noah, the sons of Noah, were Shem, Ham, and Joph. Jopeth, Ezekiel 24, 3. Then give these rebels on illustration with this message from the sovereign Lord. Put a pot on the fire and pour him some water. So guys, after I got all this stuff and I wrote it down, I looked up some things and you know, the Noah thing is is crazy because he says it'll be like times of Noah. The splitting the land thing is crazy because he said the coastal line is going to split. And then Ezekiel 24, 3, right before I wrote down, this is what New Living Translation says now in um, New King's James Version. It says something a little bit different. It doesn't have the date. But when I read this, it blew my mind. So in New Living Translation, right before 24, 3, it was 24, 1, it said, on January 15th, guys, what is today? Today's January 15th. During the ninth year of King Jeho Jehoi I can't pronounce that, Jehoiakim's captivity, this message came to me from the Lord. Son of man, write down today's date because on this very day, the king of Babylon is beginning his attack against Jerusalem. Now, I'm not saying the worst or something's gonna happen today, but how weird is it that he gives me all these messages with scriptures and then I look that up and it says today, January 15th, which is maybe why he hadn't finished giving me everything last night. I don't know. God is amazing, guys. And just please take these warnings seriously because he keeps giving me these messages. I'm out having dinner with my family and having a good time. And then all of a sudden I'm interrupted. My spirit feels like a shift. I can't explain it. It's very supernatural. And But please bow down to Jesus. Repent your sins. Come and worship him. He loves you. He wants to save everybody. That's why he's giving these warnings. When is all this going to take place? I do not know. But uh, this was some crazy details right now. And I don't even know what to think about it. So um, maybe you guys can decipher some things. All right. Well, I'm going to go in Costco now and go shopping. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed day.